welcome all my name is sudarshan and today we going to learn about code splitting in about 10 minutes only so watch this video till the end and like comment and subscribe to my channel if you find it helpful so before beginning the video we need to see why do we need code splitting here are two reasons one is bundle optimization and another one is base performance it is one of the advanced concept in base performance and also a very hot interview topic so let's start the video so we have a demo application with few basic pages as you can see home jobs main profile so here if we click on job link then we navigate to a job page inside this page there are two main elements one is job listing and another one is job tips so initially we will check uh, initially we will check our application without code splitting we make our application bundle then we see the size of our main js file so first of all uh, let's make a bundle so initially we are not using code splitting so uh, our main dot js file which will con contain all the modules available in our application okay so let's check the bundle inside this uh, static then js so this is our uh, main js file basically so let's check its size first so i will show in files then check its size so here you can see its size is 46.6 kb okay let's load note on this size 46.6 kb so that we can compare um, after code splitting okay so uh, now let's check this in browser and see that all this code will be loaded in one go so if if i check this in browser uh, let me go to home page first then let's reload this page so here you can see this is our main js file basically okay and main js file contains all our code this is our file okay so uh, and if i if if i uh, if i go here in if i click on jobs then no other module getting loaded because all our code already in, uh, included in our main code js file right so now we will use code splitting code splitting means we can load any module when it's needed instead of loading all modules combined initially okay so this is our uh, jobs component so this is uh, and in, uh, inside this we are using job tips so inside its render method we are just showing uh, the listing of jobs and jo some job tips so we have called this uh, component here in, inside this render method right it's a simple render method so now we will use code splitting so splitted code will not be the part of our main js file so if we if we will use uh, this job tips as a splitted code so it will not be uh, merged in our main dot js file it will be a separate uh, chunk of js file and browser will load it separately when application need that uh, uh, this module right so so let's mod modify uh, this component because uh, in, in in our application uh, job tips only needed when uh, someone click on job job tab right otherwise we don't need that so why we add job tips uh, to our main js file let's load this module dynamically so uh, this is the code to uh, import dynamically so uh, in normal uh, normal importing we, we just import uh, any module like this but we have to comment this and in dynamic import we have to use import method and just uh, write down the, down the name of that module which you want to import dynamically so this uh, dynamic import always returns a promise so you have to use it like this so first of all you have you have to create a uh, create any object inside your state in which you will store that dynamically imported uh, module right so so on component did mount i uh, i'm using dynamic import and it will return a uh, promise so inside that uh, inside the, uh, this uh, then method i'm using uh, i'm storing this dynamically imported module inside our state and uh, from this state i will use this module 
so now this module is using uh, this module is used from here from this this state okay and i have uh, commented this uh, this importing so okay so now let's uh, first of all now let's make a, a bundle for this and we will see the difference in the size of main.js file first so uh, let me create a bundle So uh, we will see if there is any difference in the size of uh, main.js file. Okay, so let's check this bundle. Okay, so this is our main file. Uh, main file now, and if I check this in the files, so let me check the size of this. So here you can see thirty-two point nine KB. Thirty-two point nine KB. So let me write this 32.9 kb okay and previously without code splitting the size of main.js file was 46.6 kb so you can see cl uh, clearly that uh, co uh, after code splitting size of main.js file reduced but although this is not a uh, huge difference in the size but this is just a demo application so in real application when you will uh, use code splitting in real application then it it can you know make a huge difference in the size of your main.js file okay so now uh, let's check this in browser so let me refresh as you can see um, so this is our main.js file let me refresh this page this is our main chunk file let me clear this okay so now we will go to jobs module and you will see that uh, uh, when when I will click on this job uh, tab, so only then that job module will be loaded. Let's see. Okay, now you can see this this one chunk. So this this is uh, our job tips module. This is job tips .js. Here you can see that job tips module is loaded on the go when it was needed only. So this approach is called code splitting. And ever each and everything or related to job tips module is in this uh, JS file only. So this module was chunked out from main JS file. So this is this approach is called code splitting or dynamic import. This can be vital in your page performance. So that was it for this video. Please comment when you wanna try this approach. If you find my videos helpful, then please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you so much.